What is up YouTube? My name is Jason Pretty Guys. A brand new tutorial here today. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to use radio filters in Lightroom. Whether it's adding a cool ray of sun in the street photo that you just took, or whether you want to add like a ray of sun on a person, whatever the case may be, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it in this tutorial. I've got nine photos I'm gonna show you guys, and the raw files are all in the description below for you guys to download right through Dropbox. So be sure to download them and follow along if you want to, or go in your own photos, add radio filters to your own. Be sure to let me know what your photos look like after you guys use these radio filters. I would love to see them. Be sure to tag me on Instagram. My Instagram at name is in the description below. Go follow me, check me out if you haven't already. I've been using these radio filters a ton lately and it's just been so much fun, especially when you're in harsh sunlighting or you got some cool suns coming through, whatever the case may be. Or if you want to make a whole big area of the picture darker or brighter, but you don't want to mess with one part of the photo and you want to keep that okay while you mess the other part. Whatever the case is, I'm going to show you guys how to do this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so before we get into how to use radio filters in Lightroom, I'm going to show you guys the pictures that will be using to demonstrate the radio filter in this tutorial. So the first one I got here is of D. Trays on Instagram. I was shooting with him maybe like two weeks ago, I think it was, two and a half weeks ago, and I used a radio filter in this photo. If you can see where, props to you. If you can't, I, it's hard to notice in this one. This next one's a cool street shot. You can probably see where it's pretty obvious that I used it. This next one's a car shot. Then we got a, another car shot. A third car shot. These next four shots are of Sheridan. I took shots of her back in Rhode Island this past weekend. It was really dope, and I really love how they came out. This one first is in black and white. I really like this one a lot. This next one is just in some grass and some leaves, and I really like how the radio filter worked in the shot. This next one, she's just sitting down, chilling, and this next one, we got some bubbles in here, and I edited this one actually pretty significantly besides the radio filter. So, now that we've gone through the shots, let's go back to the beginning here, and I'll show you guys how I use the radio filter in Lightroom. So, first off, if you don't know where the radio filter is, it's right here, in, right next to the brush and the uh, graduated filter. I think it's called a graduated filter, right? I really hope I'm not wrong on that one, because that will make me look like I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, so, with the radio filter, um, I used it right here right here you can see now what I did with what my idea was I wanted to get like a little sunshine like a ray of sun coming straight down on him if you see if we reset this real quick you can see the difference that's a huge difference I keep everything dark and just have that sunlight shining on him so what you do if we we're gonna redo this and completely just delete this little uh radio filter right here what we would do to make this over again is that we would take our little crosshair our cursor we would click in drag down to elongate it and then drag outwards to the side to make it longer so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get super long and a little bit wide we're gonna keep it pretty thin so then we're gonna move it right here towards like this little wall just like that actually we're gonna elongate it a little bit more Want it to stretch all the way across, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this at point seventy seven. We're gonna up the highlights all the way, and then what we're gonna do to make it shine just on him, we're gonna invert the mask, because by default, by default, the radio filter only affects what's outside the circle. So if we don't invert the mask, everything that's gonna be affected is out here as you can see when we invert it everything goes on the inside but what I realized is we need to make this a little wider so we're gonna do that real quick just like that and then BAM we have a nice little radio filter but real quick before we finish this one up I want to really quickly just decrease the exposure just a little bit if it wants to, if it allows me to that'd be fantastic okay that's exactly how I want it. Perfect. And now, there's a continuity issue here. This this little white column here, this part can be, but this part can't be ex that brightly exposed because the sun is coming from the side. 
and that column should be making a little shadow over this kind of or the sun can be coming through this little opening coming through the wall behind this column here but in front of this wall the sun can be coming from there too so now you have a continuity issue that doesn't make sense it can't be possible the sun, the sun can't be shining in two places so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the brush spot right next to edit we're going to go to erase make the feathering 100 as i usually always do and what we're going to do is we're just going to erase We're gonna erase that right there and then we're gonna go back to brush and we're gonna make this part just a little bit more exposed just like that and now you have a radio filter actually want to make that part just like that we're gonna actually gonna erase this little section right here and we're gonna make go back to the brush again and we're gonna make it just a little bit darker actually we can't do that never mind what, we're, what we'll do then is we'll make this super big right here click and it should make it a little brighter cool now I think that this is good I think this is good now but I think it's a little too bright so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna lower the exposure just a little bit just like that and bam now we got our photo I think this came out pretty cool. I think this is definitely a cool photo. I think the radio filter worked out pretty well in this. And if you want to see the beginning, what it looked like originally, that's what it looked like originally. Pretty ugly photo in my opinion, but we made it look nice. But next here we got this cool little shot of a puddle with a sun flare right here. I think this is a dope photo. And if we look at it without the radio filter, we got, once to load, we got that it's still sick but I feel like the radio filter really helps a lot here it really helps just like I don't know it gives it more color and it gives it more just a shine so all all this filter does is just add exposure I'm oh, sorry no that's that's just bare this filter actually I up the yellows up the up the yellow temperature up the purple tint and up the contrast and the highlights that's pretty much all I did I did the same, nearly the same thing as the other photo, except I just added some temperature, some tint to it, and I think it came out pretty, pretty good. I think, it, I think it definitely helped emphasize the sun in this photo. I think it's pretty cool. Next photo here is of this car. I think radio filters can be help, helpful in car shots because it can add some nice, cool little highlights on the hood. With this photo, what I did is I made it look like there was some sun coming right from right above. Up here, it's a little laggy. But um, I made it look like it was a sun coming from right above there, right above here, and I think it came out really, really cool. If if you look without it, it's like that. I don't know. It's a little dull. But when you do that, when you add the radial filter, it just looks brighter. It looks like there's some sun shining on it. It just looks super nice. Next photo here. I'm not by the way. I'm not gonna go super, super in depth with with these photos, just because I already explained how the radio filter works, and until we come across something that I did that was new, then I will show you guys what I did there. But all of this is pretty repetitive as for now. Now on this photo, what I did with this one is the same as the other photo. I added a little bit of this radio filter to add some sunlight to the car's hood. It's a little too much in my opinion now that I look at it now. I should probably lower it a little bit. Just like that. But overall, I think that looks pretty cool. I like that a lot. You can have that. You might If you, if you don't want that. Then you could reset it and not have that and keep it like that. I still think that looks really, really cool. Um, you could even darken this little spot here to make it even with this so that it's just even on all sides. But I don't know. I, I like things like that. I like sunlight. I like imperfections. I like, I don't know. It gives the photo some character and I just kind of like it. Um, and if we go back to um, this, these other photos here, I'll show you guys what the beginning versions look like because I forgot to do that. I tend to forget that a lot. That's the original version liked. Very underexposed, completely ugly, terrible photo. Turned into something pretty nice. You know, whenever you're taking photos with a lot of sun, you want to underexpose a lot. You want to underexpose because if you don't underexpose, then you're just going to be... The highlights will be out of control. The sun will be out of control. There'll be no way to prevent it. There'll be no way to reverse it. Here's what this picture looked like. So pretty cool. Definitely, in my opinion. 
I um, edited it so that you can't really see um, what's called. So you only see those people that much in the background. They're a little um, underexposed back there. And I added some um, softness over here so that it, I don't know, it just blends in with the trees really well and with the car. Here, let's reset it and I'll show you guys that. Just that. Decent photo. Very bland. But when we edit it, it looks pretty nice. Next photo here is a car doing a burnout. If we can load, if it wants to load and go to that photo, that'd be great. This photo here, I think it's sick. I think it's dope. The tones are pretty cool. And I used two radio filters, filters in this one. I used two. Um, I don't know why, to be honest. I used two. Whatever. Um, the first one lowers the exposure a bit and um, ups the contrast, highlights, and lowers the clarity a lot. Now, if you notice, I didn't invert the mask with this one because I wanted everything else but the car and the smoke to be affected. So if you look here, if we turn it off, all of it off, that's what it looks like without radio filters. But with the radio filters, it looks like this. Now on this one, if I invert the mask, you can see how much it is affected. The car looks disgusting, but when you keep it without the invert mask, it looks pretty cool. And now with the other one, what I did was I did invert the mask, and I upped the contrast, lowered the exposure, um, up the shadows a little bit, up the clarity a lot, and up the saturation. If we take this one off, if we just delete this, that's what it looks like. Again, super ugly. The highlights are way too overexposed, and just it looks bad. But when we add the radio filter, it looks sick. It looks genuinely just looks sick. And if we reset it, this is what the original looked like. Very bland and just gross, as most daylight photos are. Your photos on people has just become a lot of fun, especially when you're in these natural settings with harsh light. It's definitely something that comes in handy. So, overall, with these photos, I keep these photos very underexposed. I try to keep the shadows up to a minimum, and um, the whites at a, at a not too high, and the highlights low. And what we can do with the radio filter is add just a sick ray of light on her and just like so for, I'll show you what this what I did with, I'll show you what I did with this one firstly I added one on her I didn't invert the mask so everything but her is being affected and if we delete this that's you get a much darker background but when you add it you get a much brighter background you could see this up here it looks nice and bright it just it, it makes it more moody I guess and then this filter up here is affecting from here to her face. Now, the re if we reset this photo, this is what it looked like originally. I definitely did a good job. I feel like making sure that this picture was properly exposed and not ugly. Because it's so hard to expose in natural daylight for everything. It's just really hard. So, this next photo, again, I kept pretty... I was going to say underexposed, but actually it's not underexposed. It's just completely just it's negative 0 0.05 what I did was I lowered the highlights kept the shadows at one lowered the whites and kept the blacks up a bit and what I was able to do is add one radio filter coming from there to her and what I what I what it did was it just added a nice ray of sunlight onto her face and then I took the brush and I added on the leaves her hand over here and then the trees here just to brighten it up I mean, it's still, it's still, you can still see that nice ray of sunlight coming from her face. I inverted the mask, obviously, so that, um, it's on her, obviously. And then if without it, there's not too much of a difference, but you could definitely tell. You could definitely tell. And if we reset this photo, that's what it looked like in the beginning. This next photo, one of my favorites, to be honest. I just really love the colors in this one. What I did was, I added one from the ceiling again. Pretty simple stuff, nothing new. I've been, we've been doing this the whole time. Um, that's really it. You guys, you guys know the deal by now. I, I lowered, actually lowered the clarity on this one, and I just upped the highlights and a little bit of the exposure. With the clarity, what the reason was that for is because I feel like she was just, it was just too sharp. It was just too jagged and stuff. So I just lowered the clarity a bit, and we get a nice looking picture. If we reset the radio filter, you can definitely tell the difference. You can definitely, it just definitely adds just more brightness and just more attention to her face and if we reset the whole photo this is what you get so you can see it's a pretty big difference there now this photo this is one of my favorites from the whole shoot this is one of my favorites okay i love this photo a lot 
okay so before we get into the radio filter I want to show you guys what I did to get this look I guess because I like this photo and I want to share it <laughs> um, what I did was I actually took a brush on this little edge over here and I just upped the exposure a ton along with the contrast if we delete this brush here we get that it still looks fine but I just like it super bright I don't know it adds some character I put some brushes on her face to make the lighting more even and then with the radio filter we came in and we came in from the top left right onto her face and we just up the highlights and the exposure a bit and it makes her more brighter and just makes it look a lot better in my opinion anyway if we uh, reset this photo this is what we get from the beginning that so it's again pretty huge difference but anyway guys that's gonna be it that's radio filters 101 for you guys I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys use these techniques and use these tutorials in your photos be sure to tag me in them on Instagram I would love to see people's work after they uh, edit using some of my tutorials be sure, be sure also to comment let me know what kind of tutorials you guys want to see in the future subscribe for more tutorials photography vlogs all that shit and lastly guys my name is James I'll see you guys in the next video peace this is the center that's getting on the land all the poor This is the center of quarantine wings in a hospital It's not so pleasant and it's not so convincing There it is We're just chilling above this, above this gorge So Logic follow me on Instagram apparently That's kind of interesting it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh, that would have been crazy. <laughs> oh, I'm just, I'm just in LA, you know, casual. No big deal. No big deal.